This is an example demonstrating how to use AEO for running ADS simulations in sequence. Uh, which one simulation generates results to be used by ensuing simulation. Notice that uh, you can use the ADS queue manager add-on to run ADS simulations in sequence. To install queue manager add-on, select tools, add manager in ADS main window. Uh, for it to take effect, you typically need to restart ADS after an add-on is first installed. You can add ADS schematic test bench to the queue one at a time and run all simulations at once or selected simulation one at a time by clicking a button. However, as of ADS 2021, uh, there is no AEO function to start queue manager simulations. So, so this example may help if you don't want to use the queue manager GUI and want to use AEO to automate ADS simulation to suit your custom needs. Uh, to use this example, download this workspace archive. Uh, this workspace archive has a file extension 7.7z ADS. I have downloaded the archive and here on Linux, I have set up my HP software to the ADS 2021 installation and I've added $HP software slash bin to my path. And now I just need to type ADS to start ADS. To open an ADS workspace archive, select File, an archive, menu item in ADS main window, and then browse to this 7Z, that 7Z ADS file, select Open. and then select a destination directory and then click the finish button. And the archive is successfully unarchived and the workspace is open after you click this OK. Let's look inside this example. In the library view, under the library, there are three schematic test benches in this example. And there is no data set files, so it's empty. And other than these three schematic test benches, there is this AEO file to run simulations in sequence. So uh, let's try to run the simulation with this channel theme. If I run a simulation here, I get an error because this uh, test one that the uh, data set does not exist yet. It needs to be generated by this test one uh, test bench. So If, if you don't see a your file, uh, try to expand it. It may be collapsed. So this AEO file will run 
simulation of test one first, and then uh, channel sim, and then uh, train sim, so that uh, it will generate the test one that DS data set to be used by other simulations. Uh, to run this example, just select this AEO file, and then right click, select the load menu item, and it will load the file and run it. Uh, it just ran three simulations in succession uh, quickly. So now there are three data sets created for this by this simulation by the AEO code. Um, let, let's take a look at the AEO code. At the bottom is this KS run simulation call. So this KS run simulation call gets the next test to run and then open it in schematic window. This DE set simulation data display toggle off function keeps DDS from popping up after simulation. This DE analyze function is documented AEO function call to start simulation for the current design. And after simulation started, uh, create a timer using this API set timer call. The first argument is uh, unique timer name. Second argument is number of milliseconds between calls. And the third argument one for auto repeat. And then the fourth argument is a callback function that uh, to be called every so many milliseconds. And the fifth argument is the data for this callback function. In this case, uh, uh, I don't need to pass data, so I use now here. And this callback function, so every many second this function is called. And there's an if statement here to check if the simulation is running. If it if simulation is running, then nothing will will be done further. It will return to this timer. And then timer wakes up every many second and then call this function again until eventually when the current simulation is completed uh, this call will become true so no simulation is running then uh, inside the statements inside this if API remove timer remove the timer and then DE release simulator to release ADS simulator so that the next simulation can start and next if statement checks to see if there is more tests to run. If there is, then it's going to call this KS run simulation again. And uh, second time on, it will get the next test in the list and then open it. And then uh, also keep data display from being opening, start simulation, and then start another timer. And so that, that's it, and the, it, a, a few functions are defined inside this function. Uh, this this file is this uh, get next test. Well, first of all, uh, the there's a global test list, which is a list of uh, cells that you want to run simulation. You can replace these three cell names with designs that you want to run simulation with and replace this library name with your library name. Then you can just use this code to run uh, your list of simulations. And 
sometimes you may need to change these uh, many second calls. On some PCs, sometimes you need to change it to a large number, for example, 1,000, to make calls between, uh, between to be one second instead of one millisecond. And so the, the get next test would use this call function to get the first element uh, in the list and then return it. And meanwhile, it will update the list using this Qadar, which will remove the first element from the list. So after first call, uh, it will return the first element test one as the next test to run, and the, the list of tests to run will become uh, channel sim and train sim. And then the next function cares more tests to run. It it's just makes this line more readable. Uh, if there are more, more tests to run, then the first element in the, in the list should be a cell name instead of uh, nothing. So this call uh, KS test list will be uh, will be something instead of uh, now if there are more more tests to run. And then uh, KS open test again actually just makes one 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 call easier to read. It simply call this very long name. EO function, DE bring view to top or open new set, new window. So if the cell is already open, bring it to the top. Otherwise, uh, open it. And this function to check if a simulation is running. Uh, all of these calls uh, are not supported, are not documented. So uh, there are there's no guarantee that it will continue to work after this release. However, uh, there are customers who have been using this for many years. And it is working here for ADS 2021. So chances are it will be OK for a while. So, so that, that's, that's, it. that's the example for uh, running area simulations in sequence with a second simulation using results of the first first simulation. Thank you very much for watching.